Hi, so I'm going to show you real quick how to add a specific region of interest and then apply that region of interest um, to a batch. So first you would just start off by opening up your image without doing anything with batch. And then you will select, you know, whatever uh, object creation tool you want to use for this example. I'm just going to use surfaces and then select this is the important part to segment only a region of interest and you can classify your surfaces or do object object statistics whatever you would like to do for the actual batch process you want to do it at this step just for the ease of um, this you know little video i'm just going to turn off that so here you're going to select what you want your region to be and i'm just going to randomly select a shape that we'll be able to see in the end. And once you're satisfied with that, what that region is going to be, just keep moving forward. And I'm just kind of running through this. It doesn't really matter what the surface looks like in the end for this process. But once you're satisfied with what your object creation parameters are, You'll then want to store the parameters for batch and just name it something. And you want to make sure you store it in the arena location. It's also could be useful to save it as a favorite creation parameters too. So I would just have both those boxes checked. And then once you're satisfied with that, you can go back to arena. You don't have to save um, what the, the image looks like. And then you want to create a new batch. And here you're only going to do the steps that are in addition to whatever that region of interest is. So if you wanted to do any image processing like a background subtraction or a Gaussian filter, you could do that here. And then you'll select OK or Next. And then if you needed to do any other types of object detection that are separate from your ROI, you could do those here. Uh, you don't have to do anything here, so you just hit OK if you wanted to skip that. And then we'll name this final ROI. And right now, this final ROI batch, you can see it only has a background subtraction filter in it. So we need to add in the ROI part that we're interested in. So you just select that little edit, that pencil icon, and then drag and drop in this ROI saved creation parameter that we first created and just drag it in and drop it here into the batch pipeline editor. And you can either save this as a new batch process or you can just overwrite that original one. But now uh, once you're satisfied with what this batch is going to be, you can then run the batch on any files that you're interested in. And this one doesn't take too long to process here, but I just want to show you that it it does work, so we'll let it we'll let it do its thing. Okay, all of our batches have completed running, and now we'll open them up, and you can see that it has that smaller region that we defined here. It's gonna come on and off, and then when we go back, and you can look at the other images that created. The region of interest and it that's on, the only place where the processing did complete was here so yeah I think that was successful just please feel free to reach out if you have any questions or if this doesn't work for your your process let me know and I'll see if I can figure out another workaround thanks bye